this is Bob the old ham been working on the HW99 I thought I had the VFO working really good but it didn't do a very good job it still drifted quite a bit and I was quite disappointed in it the dial was not calibrated well no matter how hard I tried I could get the zero to calibrate and the 250 kilohertz mark to calibrate but in between it was off by quite a bit so uh, I uh, decided to go back to the drawing board took it all apart again and uh, started working on it I looked at the SB 104 VFO I knew it was similar well I looked at it and basically it's it's the same circuit so uh, what I did is I uh, had picked up at a ham fest an SB 104 VFO circuit board and I took the temperature compensating capacitors out of that circuit board and put them into the HW9 and holy cow what a difference the uh, HW99 is rock stable now I did add an extra 6 picofarad capacitor N470 across the 6 picofarad capacitor N470 that was on the SB104 board I added that on there uh, and when I did that the stability is just fantastic it warms up in less than 10 minutes now and will stay right on the spot you tune it to even for a long rag chew CW QSO so I was so happy with that so if you have trouble with the HW99 stability then you want to uh, scrounge around find the uh, parts for the SB104 VFO oscillator and put those parts into the HW99 and uh, you may want to put an extra 6 picofarad N470 in there these parts are hard to find I know I scrounged all over to get the parts to fix this one up but it sure is worth it the thing works really good now very very stable and a real fun rig to operate you can hear the guy coming in there on CW as uh, as I'm going on here just rock solid and it's been tuned in on him for oh golly 15 minutes now something like that I just turned the thing on so it's really doing a good job really a good job there and uh, so I guess that's it the other things I did I painted the inside of the VFO can the little square can with black paint flat black paint from the Hobby Hobby store and uh, the outside of the can has two layers of aluminum tape they sell this aluminum tape in the hardware stores for ductwork on uh, on your furnace and so I wrapped that around the can and then I slid it on the top and folded it over I also drilled the hole on top of the can while I had it out the VFO can I drilled that out to uh, 3 8 of an inch so that I could take the slug out of the coil and uh, with it in the rig uh, but uh, I was going to change slugs I got a number of slugs here but the original slug was the one that worked out to be so stable so it's still got the original slug in so drilling that hole out in the top of the can was not necessary but I do believe that insulating the can with the uh, with the reflective tape the highly reflective aluminum tape two layers of that on the outside and painting it black on the inside did enhance the stability that helped quite a bit so uh, that's the whole deal there so you can find those uh, SB 104 VFOs on eBay once in a while uh, or look around at the ham fest you may be able to pick up uh, an SB 104 VFO or VFO board and take those capacitors out and put them into the HW 99 because I don't know anywhere you could buy those parts now so that's it guys uh, the HW99 is really working good the dial still is not uh, calibrated real good I just calibrated it so that zero on the dial is right at the end of the band so that I know when I'm in the band other than that the uh, dial markings are not very well calibrated and that's the way it was uh, with the original setup with the original capacitors too it was the same way so that's it guys 73's and a good DX.